Uh, like I said, I was on the socials and I saw that he he had a daughter. And his daughter looks like an Edomite, man. Right, so you see him there, right? You can tell he's, you know, probably got a, a, a so-called Edomite look at mum. But hey, look at his daughter, man. His daughter looks, looks like an Edomite, man. Right? His daughter looks like a straight-up Edomite. You know, if he wasn't rich... Right, if if this Jake weren't rich, if he weren't a footballer and he was walking around with that with that with a baby looking like that, I'm sure he'd be getting all kind of looks like, yo, what are you doing with that baby? What have you done with that baby? Well, whose baby is that all of them kind of questions? You see? But hey, why am I why am I getting this? Because once again, it's a reminder that you have uh the Israelites scattered among all the nations and hey, Israel we 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 look we come in all Shapes and sizes. This is uh, it's shades. We look like the heathen. Uh, a the he, some of the heathen look like us. This is Jeremiah twelve and nine. My inheritance is unto me as a speckled bird. Look into this word here, speckled. This is a, a coloured, very, very gated speckled. So, hey, the children of Israel, we come, we come looking uh, in all shades, man. Or even it says uh, of Ephraim that he's a cake uh, not turned. I believe yeah, he, Hosea 7 and 8. Ephraim, he hath mixed himself among the people. Ephraim is a cake not turned. And you imagine a cake. Uh, top might be one shade. Uh, bottom might be another shade. Literally, if you imagine a cake, you know, you might burn the cake. And then the bottom of the cake is still a, like a light brown. The top of the cake might be a darker brown. Right, that's basically what it's saying about Ephraim. Um, this is Deuteronomy 28, 64. It says, And your house shall scatter thee among all people, and from one end of the earth, even unto the other, and there thou shalt serve other gods, which neither thou nor thy fathers have known, even wood and stone. Now, this has basically happened throughout the ages. Israel's always been going into this captivity. That can just read the book of Judges. That's what the children of Israel have been doing. Just going off and ending up in captivity. But what have they done in captivity? Because these, these, what they look, listen, the one thing about these heathen women is they love Jake. They love Jake. To this day, in the worst captivity we've ever been in, these heathen women love Jake. And what did Jake do? Jake loved these heathen women. <laughs> so guess what? When Jake can deal with these heathen women, what they do, they deal with these heathen women, they get them pregnant, and then, would you call it, if it's in a, in a new country, imagine, because I think about this in terms of war, you think of, you go to war, right, so a thousand men go to war in, in, you know, in the land of, let's say, in the land of Moab, a thousand men go to war in the land of Moab, um, they deal with, uh, let's say it's, it's a far off journey, right, and then they, they basically, they, they kill all the men, whatever, what have you. And then they find some damsels and like, oh shit, she's all right. When well, she's all right, deals with her. And then guess what? They may not leave that land. And then what what women has his does his son have to deal with? His women only has the Moabite women around to deal with. An example of that, you think about uh, the conquests of, the, of of Spain with by the Moors. They went over there, you know, they dealt around Spain, uh, did what they had to do war, war-wise, they dealt with the women, and guess what women uh, their children had around them? So-called Edomite women. So guess what happens over time? Over time, their children started to look like that. The little Polly Pockets, little Edomites, man. And these are a picture also, if I can find it, of him and his moms. I believe it's his moms. Where is it? I be, yeah, I believe that's his moms. 
you know. So that was what, two generations? I said, if this is his mum, that means he came out looking like that, then he dealt with a white woman, so-called white woman, and his daughter came out looking like that. Like if thou saying if that is his mom's, but hey, just goes to show you how easy it is to 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 and one it you know one generation looking and a one way and three generations later later look completely different. But this is the mystery of the Gentiles, and this is one of those things that the Most has added in there to basically throw throw people off, to throw those that he doesn't want off. It says Matthew thirteen twenty four in the other direction. It says um, another parable put he forth unto them, saying, The kingdom of heaven is like likened unto a man which sowed good seed in his field. But while men slept, his enemy came and sowed tares among the wheat and went his way. But when the blade was sprung up and brought forth fruit, then appeared the tares also. So the servants of the householder came and said unto him, Sir, didst not thou sow good seed in the field? From whence then hath it tares? He said unto them, Hmm. An enemy hath done this. The servants uh, uh, said unto him, Wilt thou then that we go and gather them up? But he said, Nay, lest while ye gather the tares, ye root up also the wheat with them. Let both grow together until the harvest. In the time of the harvest, I will say to the reapers, Gather ye together first the tares, and bind them in bundles to burn them, <laughs> and gather the wheat into the barn. Uh, so, so what's this going into is, uh, the wheat and the tares. The wheat is uh, the Israelites. The tares are uh, these heathen. You think of Esau dealing with the uh, Israelite woman during the time of slavery. And once again, what would that child through generation uh, potentially end up looking like? He might end up looking like a, a, a so called a so called black man. But really, go up the line, it was the Edomite. So that is that is an example of a tear where it looks like an Israelite but isn't an Israelite in the other direction as well. So that's why ultimately it comes down to just questioning the spirit, right? Uh, you know, trying to read the spirit of an individual. So Romans eight and six is said, ooh, not eight. Well, we can we can grab this as well. Actually, um, it's not the one I wanted, but it's actually it's actually on point. Um, it says for to be Romans eight and six for to be carnally minded is death, but to be spiritually minded is life and peace. Right? To just look at a man and just say, uh, oh, you're 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 a, you're an Elamite, without trying the spirit, it's being carnal. We you got you. We have to try the spirit. We've got to be like okay. Let's 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 see uh, what this man is on. The best way of doing that is by by questioning him on the on on things of the scriptures. See how he responds to them. And you know there are other things. There are other things in the flesh that show whether a man's an Israelite or not. You might you meet certain people and their flavor is just too much. Like look, man, it's just a J. But hey, guess what? You also get people who have been only around the around the heathens that are around about them. So you meet them and you're like, yo, this man's a heathen. And then guess what? You might meet their their child who's been around Jake. And you're like, oh shit, is this your son? Shit, if this is definitely your son, then hey, you gotta be an Israelite yourself. Which is why this which is why this thing goes deep. All right, it's Romans 8 16, which is what I actually wanted. It says the spirit itself beareth witness with our spirit that we are the children of the most high. All right. Um, and that's ultimately what it comes down to, the spirit. So as always, you know, just a quick one. Um, you know, give all praises to Yahweh, Shemiah, Shai. And, you know, Lord's will that was edifying. Till next time, Shalom.